Long ago and far away, a beautiful woman named Belle befriended a beast who lived in an enchanted castle. Now that castle is alive with activity in preparation for a special event. There is much work to be done. You've arrived just in time. Oh, a guest. How exciting. Please type in your name here. If you've been to the castle before, just click on your name, then click on the rose. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play. I'm Chris and Little Bumble Bear, and I'm back with another wonderful Disney game. This is Beauty and the Beast Magical Ballroom, a game that I loved playing as a kid, and I'm so happy to share it here. I also want to quickly dedicate this game to the late Angela Lansbury, who unfortunately passed away this week. She was the voice of Mrs. Potts. A very wonderful woman, and she also Are did a lot of other in, things. Love? Just type oh, in your name. There she is, or right if there. If you see it on the guest list, just click on it. Thank you, Angela. She also did a lot of other things. Uh, another very uh, popular thing that she has done is her little TV show, Murder She Wrote, about a uh, writer who solves murder mysteries. But yes, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more Disney content. Check out the playlist in the description box Are you for other. In love? Just type yep. in your name, or if you see it on the guest I'm list, coming. just click on it. Give me a second. Hold on, Mrs. Potts. I have a playlist in the description box of other uh, Disney games. I'll just start typing my name. And I have a Twitter and Instagram. You're welcome to, to follow. And if you use Discord, let me know in the comments, and I'll get you an invite to my server. Please enjoy Magical Ballroom. Oh, how exciting! Belle will be so glad to see you. Lumiere Cogsworth, this is wonderful. You're sure the Beast doesn't know we're planning a surprise party for him? We have maintained the utmost secrecy. I adore surprise parties. They're so surprising. <laughs> And so much work. We've got to prepare the ballroom, set the table, create the invitations. Oh, settle down, Cogsworth. You're getting yourself all wound up again. Lumiere is right, Cogsworth. Everything will be fine. Quelle chance! Visitors! Help has arrived! This is perfect. With your help, we'll get ready for the party in no time. And then, once the ball starts, you can be our guest. Well, let's get ticking, then. Time is of the essence. Allow us to show you around our <laughs> humble abode. There's fun to be had in every room of the castle. Simply click on the door and in you go. Go ahead and explore the kitchen, the ballroom, the library, and the garden. There are different things to do in every room. But remember to stay away from the west wing. The master must not be disturbed. Belle, the secret passages. Oh, that's right. Be sure to keep your eyes open for secret passages. They'll take you from one room to another. And when you're ready to leave a room, just click on the magic mirror and you'll come back here to the foyer. When you're ready to leave the castle entirely, return here to the foyer and click on the mirror. So, select a room and away we will go. Credits. The Garden Writing Desk. Welcome to the garden. This is where the beautiful stained glass windows in the castle are created. We can make art, create new windows, or even write party invitations for our friends. Each time you come back here, you'll be able to see the latest artwork you've created. Why don't you join me? If you want to paint a picture, choose a background here. If you'd like to make a stained glass window, choose a design here. Once you've created a stained glass window, click here to light it up. To add pictures to your backgrounds, choose a sticker. If you'd like to make party invitations, click on the card. To see one of your drawings, click on a color tack. To start a new drawing, click on a white tack. To clear the page, click on the paper holder. If you want to erase what you just did, click on the feather. When you're ready to print, click here. If you want to go back to the foyer, click here. Be as creative as you want. I can hardly wait to see your work.
You're quite an artist. Erase. I didn't know you had so much talent. You're quite an artist. If you're sure you want to leave the garden, click again. There are a few doorways in here. Oops, sorry. Let's try this one. Mmm, I smell something delicious. We must be near the kitchen. Mama, look! They came through the secret passage! Mama, Mama! What is it, Chip? We need to get ready for the party. But look who's here! Oh, hello, love. Chip and I were just setting the table for the master's party. We have different settings for tea, dinner and dessert. There's so much to do. Will you be a dear and help us? To see how you would do it, look under the plate cover over there. All you have to do is move the dishes and their contents from the cupboard shelves to the table in the right order. Just click on an item to move it down to the placemat. We'll need four place settings for each course. <laughs> and it gets harder with each course. For tea, you only need five pieces, but for dessert, you need seven. Oh, and try not to break anything, okay? Click on the plate cover to change the course you want to build. Good luck, dear. Click on the timer to begin, or to return to the foyer, click on the magic mirror. Let's go! Ted, that is the course you are making now. Are you sure you want to start over? If you're sure, click on the plate cover now.
Oh dear. Two finished. Ma all four complete. You did it. And it all looks so grand. I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, Mama. Let's go to the next course. Great. The tea is ready to go. Excellent. All we need now is the main course and dessert. To change to a new course, click on the plate cover again. Time to prepare the main course. To change to a new course, click on the plate cover again. Dessert, my favorite! Yummy! I can't wait till we finish dessert!
splendid. You're really good at My, that looks wonderful. Well done. You're a regular speed demon, you are. Fine work. Lumiere, can you come here, please? Yes. <gasps> oh, what an elegant table. All it needs is atmosphere. We're all done. By Jove, we are. I suppose the food is all ready for the party now. Oh, lovey, we were having such fun. Are you sure you want to go back to the foyer? If you... See you in a little while, then. Toodaloo. Why, hello again. You really have completed quite a bit for the surprise party, but there's more to finish. There are still more rooms to visit. The garden writing desk. Mrs. Potts tea time table. The West Wing. Ooh, he's sleeping. We better keep quiet so we don't wake him. <laughs> we wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. Cogsworth. Bonjour, mon ami. We are so happy to see you. We need your expert help on a matter of great mystery. Perhaps I should explain the conundrum. In order to surprise the master, we must enter the West Wing. Unfortunately, he has hidden the key in one of these books. Only Cogsworth doesn't remember which book it's hidden behind. I wrote it down in secret code. Secret even to you. Come closer, and we'll explain how to find the key to the West Wing. I need you to choose questions about the book where the key is hidden. I'll find the answer from the secret codes. Then you can eliminate the books that do not fit the answer. For example, click on the book of clue. And I will ask you, is it a blue? And I will answer. If I say yes, you can rule out all the books that are not blue by clicking on the red stripe on the book covers. If I say no, it is not a blue book, then you can dispose of all the blue books. But guess wisely. Speaking of guesses, you may, if you wish, try to guess which book is the mystery book by clicking on the green stripe. But be careful. If you guess incorrectly, you lose a clue. This is precisely why I advise you to guess wisely. We only have a limited number of questions. You can tell how many clues you have by looking at the roses. If they are red, you can still ask more questions. And at each level, you will need to identify the mystery book to get a section of the key. Once you complete all three levels, we will have the complete key to the West Wing. If you want to change the level, click... If you want to go back to the foyer, click here. Let's get started then, shall we? Cogsworth, is the character on the book wearing a scarf? Uh, no. No scarf. Does it have wing? Hmm, hmm, let me see. Uh, yes, this character has wing. Push. Is the background... Ah, it is blue. Well done. Is there a hat in this picture? No, no hat. We have only three questions left.
Mon ami, can you see if this character is wearing glasses? It says quite clearly this character is not wearing glasses. Mm, mm, no. Mon ami, we have but two questions left. So, you think this is the mystery book, hmm? If so, click on the green stripe again. Well done. We are on our way. A section of the key. You have solved the first mystery. Excellent. This level can be tricky. Here we go. Level two. Click here to turn the page for the next clue. Question, Cogsworth, is the character on the book wearing a scarf? Uh, no. No scarf. Guess? Click here to turn the page for the next clue. Questions? Hmm, does this character have big ears? Oh, yes, big ears indeed. Sure, you'd like to pull this book back? It will take a clue away. If you're sure, click on the book again. Click here to turn the page for the next clue. Is the background red? Unfortunately, not. We have only three questions left. Push back. Are you sure you'd like to pull this book? Is the background green? Well, let's see here. Yes, it is green. A bilious green. Mon ami, we have but two questions left. Mon ami, can you see if this character is wearing glasses? Oh my, excellent! There are glasses. Oui, oui, we have arrived at our final question. Are you certain about this book? If so, click on the green stripe again. Fuck me down! Two down, one to go! Splendid! You have found the second section of the key. The toughest level by far. You can do it! Level 3! Click here to turn the page for the next clue. Is the background... Let us see, let us see... Uh, no. Don't worry, we will not be de... Pull the book back. Is this character playing an instrument by any chance? Oh dear. There is no musical instrument here. What a waste. We have only three questions left. Push. Push back. 
Pull the book back. Pull the book back. Mon ami, can you see if this character is wearing glasses? It says quite clearly this character is not wearing glasses. Mm, mm, no. Mon ami, we have but two questions left. Guess? Click here to turn the page for the next clue. Is the background red? Oh dear, apparently not. Oui, oui, we have arrived at our final question. Push back. The character on the book, does it have big teeth? No, it does not have big teeth. Are you certain of the key is ours? Magnificent! You found the key! If you want to start the game again, click here. Otherwise, click on the arrow to go back to the foyer. We still have plenty to do to prepare for the ball. It looks like we're almost ready for the party. You only have one more room to complete. The ball there is so much to do before the dance can begin. We'd better get ticking. Oh, Belle knows dozens of dances. There is nothing to worry about. Well, we know a few dances, but I want this to be special. We need to decorate the ballroom, pick out the right outfits and instruments, and create a special new dance for the big surprise party. Oh, maybe our friend can help. Good idea, Lumiere. Would you help me get the ballroom ready for the surprise party? And when you're done, we can put it all together. Click here to choose my ball gown. Click here to choose the steps for the dance. Click here to prepare the music. When you're all finished, you can click on the doors behind me to start the dance. If you'd like to leave the ballroom, click on the magic mirror. Shall we? There's no time to lose. Choose a dress. Woo! Well, hello there! What should we dress you in for the surprise party? Let's see what I've got in my drawers. <laughs> Choose a dress to see the whole outfit. If you like it, click on the picture of Belle to select it and return to the ballroom. I was hoping to get a better look at that dress. Oh, that dress is so beautiful. Oh, that certainly is a pretty dress. I was hoping to get a better look at that dress. Let's take a closer look. Oh, wonderful choice! I can't wait to see her at the ball! I love the dress you've chosen. Once we choose the instruments and the dance moves for the ball, we'll be ready to go. Choose the chair to prepare the music, or click on the dance floor to select the steps for the dance. Click on any musician to hear him play an instrument. Click on a musician again to change his instrument. Each musician can play one of three different instruments. Oh, what talented fellow! Once you've selected instruments for all of the musicians, click on the sheet music. Click on any of them to get started. Mon ami, I cannot keep my bass still. I have to dance. That sounds beautiful. I can't wait to hear them play this at the... Ooh, the master will be quite pleased with this selection. 
Mon ami, I cannot keep my bass still. I have to dance. I can't wait to hear them play this. A lovely melody. It will do very nicely for the party. Thank you. Lovely selection. Our musicians will remember the instruments you've chosen and get them ready for the ball. Why, all we need now is to choose the dance steps and then the ball can begin. Click on the dance floor to select the steps for the dance. Choose a And now, mon ami, help create a dance for the master and bell. Just choose a tile and place it on the ballroom floor. Starting here. To have the master and bell step to the right, place the step tile to the right of the starts. For the master and bell to step to the left, place the step tile to the left of the start square. You get the idea. To have the master twirl bell in a circle, put this tile onto the dance floor. If you would like to have the master dip bell in a romantic fashion, put this tile onto the dance floor. I taught him this movement. To make them spin in a circle, put this tile onto the dance floor. If you'd like the master and bell to fan out to the side, put this tile onto the dance floor. These moves take two, and these take only one. I'll let you know when you only have a few steps left. This banner will show you all the moves you have added to your dance. That way you can put more than one move on a tile, if you'd like, without losing track of what steps you are taking. If you decide you'd like to start over, just click on that irresistible feather duster to reset the dance floor. When you're finished, click here. What are you waiting for? It's time to make some magic happen on the dance floor. If you are sure you want to start over, what a brilliant move! What exquisite! I'm afraid there is not enough time for that move. Try one of these. You have completed the dance. It is a work of art. What are you waiting for? It's very nice choreography. Off we go to decorate the ballroom and dance in it. That was wonderful. The Beast has no idea we're planning a surprise party. Maybe we should go back to the foyer to see what else needs to be done. Click on the magic mirror to return to the foyer, or click anywhere else to stay in the ballroom. Click on the magic mirror to go back to the foyer. Choose... Congratulations! That was fantastic! Now it's time to see it all put together. If you'd like to see the dance you have just created, click on the doorway. If you'd like to change the decorations, simply click on them. Your artistic talents are perfect for the job. If you'd like to save your dance, play a new dance, or play an old dance, use the dance card. And of course, to exit, click on the magic mirror. Ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, let the dance begin! Thank you for the spectacular evening you created for us. If you would like to see your masterpiece again, click on the door. Otherwise, click on the dance card to either save your dance or watch a different one. Oh, and to leave, just click on the magic mirror. To leave the dance floor, to leave the dance floor, click on the mirror again. To leave the dance floor, back we go. That was wonderful. The beast has no idea we're planning it. If you'd like to return to the foyer, click on the mirror again. If you'd like to stay, click anywhere else. See you soon. You've done it. Everything is ready for the party. Well done, mon ami. Uh, go ahead and click on the west wing and the party will begin. The we Oh boy, here he comes, Mama. Keep it down, dear. Oh no, he'll hear you. Shh. Surprise! <laughs> A surprise party for me? So tell us, were you surprised? <laughs> <laughs>
I never suspected a thing. Thank you. Just as I said all along, we could pull it off without a hitch. I thought you'd wake up when we were cooking, but Mama said you sleep right through it. Oh, now, Chip. <laughs> well, sir, there is a young lady here with a request. May I have the first dance? It would be my pleasure. And believe it or not, they lived happily ever after. Welcome back. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay of Magical Ballroom. I certainly had a lot of fun. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and subscribe for more Disney content. Content. Check out the playlist in the description box for more Disney games on this I channel. I love the library. Have you seen it yet? Yes, I have. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone. You're always welcome to come hang out. Until the next video, God bless. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye, my friends. Look at everyone that helped make our surprise party a success. Goodbye, and thank you for helping us. Hope to see you again soon.